What's good guys, it's TSG. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the three main things that I believe are gonna be the big reasons that Alluvium is gonna be the best game in all of crypto. So the thing that actually sparked this idea was a little clip from Vulcan's interview with Grant right at the very end, legitimately in the last minute. It was Vulcan saying something and it just got my mind thinking. So we're gonna watch the clip right now and then I'm gonna break down exactly why I think it's so important. At the end of the day, like, like I said, like Alluvium's got the only model that makes sense to me where it's like you've got controlled supply because you have different sets that will come out so nothing's forever so you've got mm -hmm. scarcity in that mm -hmm. and then you've got the sheer collectability value and then you also have quality level being the ivs or the you know the the raw val the raw stats the base stats of the different characters so i think like in that sense, like alluvium's just got the perfect model for scarcity plus desirability plus collectability and Ah, oh, it's it. I can't wait, dude. So I don't know if you guys heard that, but there were three things that he really talked about. It was the control supply, the collectability, and the quality value. So in today's video, I'm gonna break each of these things down and explain exactly why I think they're gonna play such a massive role in Alluvium's success, and not only that, Alluvium's longevity. So let's begin with the most obvious thing, the control supply. So each set of alluvials will only be available for just a limited time. So what does that mean? With the game being built right now, the alluvials that we're seeing in the private beta or in the leaks or everything that we're seeing, it's essentially part of its legacy set, its Genesis set, the set one alluvials. We don't know the exact time frame. It could be six months, it could be a year, but once that time hits, once that, that expiration date hits, we will not be able to find these in the open world anymore. They won't be there. So that's gonna have a hard cutoff for anyone coming in to the next set. And what that means is if you were here from the very beginning, you get access to that Genesis set. And that applies to the second set, the third set, the fourth set, and so on. If you come in much later, you won't have access to these earlier sets. And that creates a huge demand. The best example that I can think of for this is Pokemon cards. I'm sure most of us are aware of Pokemon cards being sold for crazy amounts. The Charizard's being sold for crazy amounts from the first ever set of Pokemon cards. And that is because Pokemon has become the highest grossing franchise in the entire world. So having that first ever set of cards that was ever produced is obviously going to be very, very valuable. And the reason it's valuable is because they're not remaking it. They're not printing it again. They're not constantly printing it. They stopped it at that set. They came out with a second and then a third and a fourth, so on and so forth. And that creates a limited supply. We can see how that worked for Pokemon. And the crazy thing about Alluvium is that is not the only system that's in place to make these Alluvials inherently scarce. There are other systems in place to actually make each set even more scarce than it just being there for a limited time. The first of these systems is the fusion system. Just like in Pokemon, Alluvials will have three different stages or in the Pokemon phrase, they have different evolutions. The difference in Alluvium is that they don't evolve by leveling them up. There's a fusion system in place. The way the fusion system works is that you're gonna need three of each stage, fuse them together and fuse them into the next stage up. So let me use this Ramphy, for example. Let's say we wanted to fuse three Ramphys into a Ram fight we would need to go out and capture or buy three Ramphys, fuse them together, eliminating them from the market completely, destroying them and burning them completely. And what's even crazier is if we want to get to the Ram Fire, which is the stage three, we're going to need three of the stage twos, which means that we are going to need to burn a whopping nine stage ones to get a stage three. So we have now burned nine stage ones, three stage twos to get one stage three. So just to get one stage three, we have burnt and destroyed so many of these alluvials from the set that is not only time limited, but we have now taken them away from the marketplace completely, destroyed it completely to get something even rarer and more valuable. And that is just, that system in itself is adding a whole extra layer of scarcity as time goes on. The other system they have in place to help with controlled supply is the process in which that they use to craft and create blueprints for skins, for armor and weapons. So in the Alluvium universe, you're actually able to craft different skins for armor, different skins for weapons to give yourself a unique experience, to give yourself a unique visual appearance aesthetic. So when you're going into the PVP arena, 
you have a brand, you have an aesthetic about you, which people can know that, oh, that is you. The skins you're gonna use on your armor and weapons are actually based off and designed off the alluvials themselves. And not only are they designed off the alluvials themselves, again, just like the fusion, if you want to create, let's say an Atlas skin, you are going to need to burn, you're going to need to burn three Atlases to create the skin. And this is going to apply every single time you want to craft the skin. And the crazy thing about this is not that you have to burn three atlases. That's somewhat understandable. But just like the fusion, if you want to get a stage three skin, you're going to need to burn three stage threes. So now think about that. We have just said for the fusion part of this, that if you want a stage three, you're going to need to burn nine stage ones and then three stage twos. So if we want to get a stage three skin, we're going to need to burn 27 stage ones and nine stage twos. We are just reducing the supply on the market bit by bit for every single thing that we do. Every time someone wants to express themselves, we're reducing the market. Every time we want to get a stronger alluvial, we're reducing the market. We're reducing the supply constantly. With all of these systems working together, the fusion, the blueprints, and the limited availability of these alluvials, of these sets, it's all working in sync to reduce the amount of alluvials in the market consistently. And for anyone who understands basic economics, less supply with a high demand equals rising values. The systems are in place for the less supply. Now what we need to do is create that high demand. And the way they're going to do that is by putting out a great product, which is the game. The game needs to be engaging. The game needs to be fun. The game needs to be aesthetically pleasing. If they can create all of that and create the demand, the systems in place for the supply have already been implemented. We may not see these crazy prices like what we see in Pokemon instantly, but just like Pokemon, it takes time for us to get to that stage. And Pokemon has been around for a long time. So, this is a 10, 20 year play, essentially. The second point that Vulcan brought up was the collectability value of these alluvials. Now that we have an understanding that these alluvials are gonna be scarce and the systems in place to make that happen, what other reasons are there for us to want them apart from the low supply? So yes, we can start by saying that the art alone is incredible. The quality of the art is next to none. I, I've been on streams and I've asked people what other games out there in the crypto space even come close to this. And the answer is none. There are no games that come close to this. This is triple A quality art. So we have that speaking for itself. But that alone isn't enough to get the audience members and players to go absolutely crazy for them and want to collect them and collect them and just build up this massive collection. If the art is the thing that we're looking for, we can very much just go for one, have one, and relax. We don't need to keep collecting them. In my opinion, the thing that's gonna get everyone hooked is the potential to capture hollows and dark hollows. Just like Pokemon cards, yes, it's cool to have pulled a Charizard out of the pack, but if you pull a hollow or a shadowless hollow, that's a whole different story. This ability for people to have the exact same alluvial, but show that there's a special or rarer is going to be a huge part in why we get hooked into this game and want to collect it and keep playing this game. Us as humans love to flex. This is exactly why we buy fancy clothes or drive fancy cars. It's to show and speak to others without using our words of our status or of our class. We do this digitally in games too by using expensive skins or other expensive items. By including hollows and dark hollows into the game, what they are essentially doing is they're incentivizing players to continue playing the game to hopefully catch something that they've already caught, but just a rarer version. And that, that need, that want to say that I am special, I have something that's better than yours inherently. When you play it on the board, I can have an atlas, you can have an atlas. But guess what? Mine shines, mine looks cooler than yours. That's a thing that we all want to do. And we can see this in action in the same way that Pokemon players are grinding hundreds of hours post game to go shiny hunting. It's a tried and true system and Illuvium is jumping on this and making it 10 times better with the quality of art just that goes through the roof. The third and final point that Vulcan brought up is the quality value of these Illuvials. So we've talked about the supply of these Illuvials and how the scarcity of these Illuvials are gonna make us want for them even more. We've talked about the appearance of these Illuvials with hollows and dark hollows. But apart from that, again, 
Let's take these two things out of the question. Why else should we keep playing once we've built a complete collection of alluvials? Once we've got them all, what's going to make us want to keep playing and keep spending our time in this universe? And this is how we come to the quality value of each of these alluvials. Just like in Pokemon, how each Pokemon has a set of base stats and a tiny bit of variety on top of that with the use of IVs and EVs, alluvials will be built in the same way. Each alluvial will have a set base of stats but every alluvial will have some sort of random stat buff or nerf to make it unique. So imagine this, both of us may have the same alluvial, let's say Atlas, but due to its unique stats, my Atlas actually has more HP than yours and therefore is more effective as a tank and therefore more effective on the board. This small detail makes my Atlas better than yours because it can actually play its role in a more efficient and effective way. And this essentially results in its value on the marketplace being higher than yours because it's overall a better atlas. This unique quality value for each alluvial is going to give the game unlimited replayability for those trying to maximize and perfect their collection, especially, especially for competitive players where these small, minute details, differences in, in stats is legitimately the difference between winning and losing an entire competition. So guys, those are my thoughts breaking down the three biggest things that I believe are going to not only put Alluvium in the top spot in Web3 gaming, but also keep it there and captivate players for a very, very long time. I'd really like to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. If you agree, disagree with me, just let me know. If you think I forgot something, let me know. Just put it all down in the comments below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you like this type of content, as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.